This exhibition is about the Cheapside Hall, the world's largest collection of Elizabethan and early Stuart jewellery. And we're putting it on now at the Museum of London to mark the 100th anniversary of its discovery by workmen in Cheapside in the City of London. It's the very first time ever it's been the subject of an exhibition in its own right. I mean, obviously, the, the objects were found in a buried environment, so I imagine when they were first found, they were quite covered in soil and mud, a lot of which was obviously removed over the years by different people. But there still is quite a lot remaining, and although I've removed a bit more where it's obscured nice shiny gems and things, we made the decision to leave some in place because it's all part of the history of the object, and we quite like the idea that you could see where these objects had come from and reflected the fact they'd been in the ground for all that time. The Emerald Watch is without question one of the most important pieces in the hoard and one of the most exquisite jewels in the world. Emerald, although a hard gemstone, is extraordinarily brittle and very susceptible to cracking and, and damage. And so to have someone who procured this stone and then cut it in such a way that it formed this wonderful case and that it survived for the length of time it has is truly remarkable. One of the reasons why the Cheapside Hall is so important is that it is quite literally a time capsule of craft skill and global trade. Well, one of the things that we as Gemfields find fascinating is historically craftsmanship was so important, it was valued. And I'm pleased to say if you look at some of these magnificent pieces around here, it's clear that the same was true, where people not were only loving the gold and the value of the stones, but celebrating the craftsmanship. One of the most engaging pieces is a little brooch in the form of a salamander set with emeralds from Colombia and diamonds from India. And on the back, two recurving pins for attachment. And the underside also is enamelled in white with little browny black flecks to indicate the sort of reptilian, or in this case if it is a salamander, amphibian skin. We have a beautiful scent bottle in the hoard and to create a wonderful sensory experience, Roger Dove has created a perfume using the sorts of ingredients that that bottle would originally have contained. There's a little door with a grill and behind it this fantastic, alluring scent. The exhibition walls are lined with portraits, both men and women, to show either goldsmith jewellers or people wearing some of their finery in these lavish jewels. The Cheapside Hall, London's Lost Jewels, opens on Friday the 11th of October and runs through to the 27th of April next year. So six months to see this extraordinary treasure and appreciate just how important gems and jewels were to Londoners at this time.